Hello Pisces. This is your reading for May 2019. I know I'm late guys. My apologies for that, but your girl is here now. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Pisces in love for May 2019. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as Jupiter. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and do a Celtic cross here for my Pisces. She please show me messages for Pisces. What do my Pisces need to know? It's the energy that's around you guys. Just crossing you. The underlying issue, the recent past there. What's crowning you? What's coming in for you? And how you're feeling about the situation? The influence here, your hopes or fears. Pull that one, and the overall. I'm gonna pull that one too because that one wanted to come out. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on around you guys currently. Ooh, the Eight of Wands there. Mm, I feel like there's a lot of changes that are ensuing. Okay, um, maybe some travel for some of you. Communication. I feel like there's somebody that either wants to contact you or has contacted you. Um, I feel an eagerness here. I feel the need to like really see somebody in person is what I'm getting from this Eight of Wands energy. Okay, whether it's you or someone else. Now, what's crossing you guys here is the Ten of Swords. Mm. And this is about feeling stabbed in the back, feeling betrayed, okay? Um, and and feeling, feeling not only stabbed in the back, but this is being stabbed in the back, I feel, by somebody who you love and trusted, okay? Somebody who you expected to have your back and they didn't. I feel like this is this individual needing to needing to reach out, needing to make something right here. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I'm getting it so strongly that there's somebody who who you are blocking energetically. Because you do feel betrayed. You do feel stabbed in the back. Um, I'm getting to that this is like it's hindering you. The fact that um, you're holding on to this for some of you is is hindering you from really making the changements, the changements, the changes and advancements in your life that that you are eager to make. Okay, holding on to this betrayal. Okay, now the underlying issue here is the tower. There is something that you felt like was horrific that happened to you um, and it happened suddenly and I feel like this is everything to do with this betrayal okay um, there may have been a few people involved in this situation could have been a third party relationship I do get that um, if there was a third party here I'm feeling that this third party situation is done over with I'm also getting that you and the person that is significant to you, um, both of you guys have changed significantly, okay? Both of you have changed significantly. I do get that, um, again, that third party situation, if this is resonating for you, I feel like that's done, that's over with, okay? Now, in the recent past, we have the King of Wands energy here. Mm. This person that you're dealing with, that you're thinking about, rather, um, this was a very, I feel, arrogant person. Um, they felt like nothing was wrong, that they did not need to change. There was nothing about the way they behaved that they needed to change. Even, um, I feel like, very flirtatious person. 
very flirtatious, very charismatic. But I'm hearing like that's the way they come across. But once you're with them, then they let their true colors show. Um, and I feel angry. I'm feeling angry too. That could just, you know, blow their lid at any given time, whoever this individual is. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely getting that this person has changed a lot. Okay. What's crowning you guys here is a Two of Swords energy. You're not so sure. <laughs> You're not so sure if this person is still the same arrogant asshole or if they've changed. And I feel like, you know, you're not really trying to see them one way or the other, to be honest with you. Okay. You're not trying to make a decision about them. The way that you experienced them before, that's the way you see them. Um, and I don't feel like there's anything that's, that's going to change your mind. I don't even know if you're looking for something to change your mind at this point. Okay. Because there's this feeling of betrayal um, that you experience with this person. A lot of hurt. Okay. Um, you're wanting to just stop thinking about this is what I'm getting from you guys. Okay. What's coming in for you is the Three of Swords. I know this is this is like heartache. This is heartache for you, okay? And I know this. You you you've been hurt. Um, strong air energy here. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. I feel energy is here, but um, definitely definitely heartache for you I do feel that um, there's something else that you you may learn about this situation that you didn't know previously okay and it may be you know me telling you that there was a third party situation going on here maybe you know for you, the betrayal was just the way this person treated you. How they put you down, how they were mean to you, how this person may have hit you, just mistreated you in general. But, you know, in listening to this reading, you know, some of you will feel like, you know, you didn't know about this other person. But let me say this to you. If you do not know that there was a third party, then do not make there be a third party, okay? Because this reading is not going to resonate for everybody. Nine times out of ten, if I'm telling you there was a third party, you already know, okay? Or you have an inclination that there was a third party involvement. Okay, guys, so keep that in mind. Do not try to make this story fit if it does not. Just take out of it what resonates with you and leave the rest, guys, okay? Now, how you're feeling about this situation currently is the Eight of Cups. You know that this situation is not good for you. You know this. You know, there, there's something that's not serving you any longer. It's not good for you to stay focused on the betrayal. It's not good for you to stay focused on what happened between you and this person before in the past. It's time to move on and do things that make you happy. And this is how you're feeling like it's time for me to do me. It's time for me to go out and get my happiness. Okay. Now, the influence in, in this situation is the Two of Pentacles. There again, we have the juggling. We have the juggling, okay? We have somebody here that, you know, did not make a decision to have one thing or the other. Having their balls in the air and just trying to, you know, keep, keep both of them in hand, but not at the same time. You know, that kind of situation just trying to like you know keep all their balls in the air and not let anything hit the fan not let the shit hit the fan um yeah okay so the hopes or fears here is a page of wands 
Hmm. You know, I'm getting that you guys are having a hard time. I definitely get that with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords energy. You're having a hard time with this situation and you're feeling like you're not going to be able to come out of this or you're like, when am I going to come out of this? When am I going to start feeling better? When am I going to start being interested in something else? Okay. Am I going to get over this? Am I going to be able to start over? You will. If that's your fear, that you'll always be stuck in this misery, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just as soon as you decide here, as I see that you're trying to with this Eight of Cups energy, to walk away and let go of, of these feelings of betrayal and hurt and knowing that you can't change the situation that's happened, you will start to feel better. But you have to acknowledge your feelings. And then you can move forward. So your fear here is that you will not be able to start over, get past this, become interested in something else, do something totally different. You will. You will, my friends, okay? Now, your overall outcome here. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> this is you guys here, okay? This situation where you feel like somebody was giving to somebody else behind your back, you're no longer having that. You're no longer having that. Okay. The situation where you feel like you was giving your all to someone and they weren't giving, giving it to you, like giving you an equal exchange of energy, you're no longer having that. That's done and over with. You're guarding yourself from this type of behavior ever again. You're guarding yourself. This will not happen to you again. Okay? You will be strong enough to stand your ground and do what's best for you. I see you doing that. And I know you guys are having a tough time. And I really, really hate that. Okay? But this too shall pass. Okay, my friends? So we have... Um, Scorpio, we have Leo, Aries energy here, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius energies here, excuse me, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Libra, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon.